Okay, so this is an updated um, tour of the old games room. As you can see, there's been a few changes. Not too much has changed in the the whole scheme of things, but I've been spending and buying and got a few nice things to see. We'll start over here. These are Wii games and Wii U games. Getting quite a collection of Wii U games now. They're starting to release some decent stuff. But uh, the Wii games I've been collecting are getting steadily bigger because I've been picking up some bargains. Um, and they're getting cheap and people are offloading them. But uh, here we have my latest things. This is a, a game stick, which is the uh, world's smallest console apparently it's about the size of a pack of chewing gum and this is the Ouya this is the Kickstarter edition and I got the bronze one and that's fun to play um, there's the PS3 collection steadily growing PS2 that's uh, stable and the 3DS and the GBA there. I mostly emulate the GBA so I don't really play them too much nowadays. I've got a laptop for the games room now because um, the Virtual Boy I've been I bought a Flash Boy which is this thing here and you can put the ROMs onto this and play any Virtual Boy game some of them that would normally cost up to a thousand, two thousand dollars you can just uh, connect them up to the computer, smack the ROM on there, and there you go, Bob's your uncle. Still got the old Virtual Boy there, and the Samba de Amigo. Um, this is uh, something I've been collecting lately, the limited edition DS's, the different styles. I've got the Zelda, the Yoshi, the Zelda Anniversary. Uh, I've got the 2DS there as well. Um, I bought these off a friend at the weekend. That's the Anniversary GBA Micro and that's a IQ version which is the Chinese version of Nintendo. Licensed by Nintendo. And the e-reader which is a lot of fun. Um, moving over here this is obviously the games cabinet which hasn't changed too much. I got myself a beautiful box Dreamcast there and the Mario Kart I should really tidy up. The Mario Kart Wii that was not opened. The box is a bit damaged but um, it wasn't opened when I got it so that was good and obviously the games cabinet here and we've got the PS2 couple of PS3's there big and small Panasonic Q uh, Wii U and the Wii, the GameCube, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo. This uh, was a Christmas present. That was the Zelda Collector's box set of all the walkthroughs. And the Commodore 64 there, Atari 7800, boxed Sega Saturn, and the NES, Dreamcast, these things here, which I didn't show in the last video, these are controllers for the GameCube, only available in Japan, and they were available through the Nintendo Club, and these are all in beautiful condition. I picked them up a couple of years ago for about $100 a piece, and now those are going for astronomical money. Um, there's a couple of Xboxes there on the shelf here. We've got the the new Ouya, which is tiny. It's about the size of a Rubik's cube. Uh, you can't put games in it. You have to download every game. So I've had the I've had the place wired so I can um, get internet in here now. Um, still got the little TV there for playing SNES games because they look better on a small TV. Um, yep. This is the, the other shelf here. I bought this the other day. 
that's uh, the same again the Club Nintendo only in Japan um, there's the Panasonic Q GBA adapter and these things are the Donkey Kongas 1, 2 and 3 um, Australian only Blue Wii and the Golden Eye N64 still haven't opened this thing yet <laughs> don't think I ever will uh, I got this at the weekend that's a little bit of fun uh, get 10 minutes of fun out of it and this is every single GameCube game that was ever released it took me a few years to get those together I've been trying to I, I got Rock Quiz on the PS3 for Christmas I've been trying to play the guitar but I just can't play it I'm just going to give up I think some things you just have to say no I can't do that and these are the, the crates which are getting pretty full now and back to the old snooker table there still lots of shit under the table my missus sees that she'll go crazy she doesn't like stuff underneath the table so that's a, an updated games room I'm sure I'll update it again by the end of the year as these things tend to grow and you can't stop buying games crazy guy enjoy <laughs>